An 11 year old in Texas vanishes after not making it to her school bus. Now authorities are turning their eyes to a family friend with a questionable past. 11 year old Audrey Cunningham was last seen near her home in Polk County, Texas on February 15th. That same night of her disappearance, Audrey's father Joshua took to social media for help finding his daughter. He wrote on Facebook, quote, my daughter Audrey is missing. She did not make it to the bus this morning. According to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, school officials reported that the bus never picked her up, nor did she come to school that day. Initially, very little clues were left behind, but then a turn in the investigation leads authorities to a man with a lengthy criminal history. Two days after Audrey was reported missing, investigators identified what they believe to be a person of interest, a friend of the family who they say has babysat Audrey in the past. On February 17th, investigators identified 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougall as the last person to see Audrey. And because he was the last person to see Audrey that morning, he was also named by police as a person of interest in her disappearance. Investigators believe McDougall's 2003 Chevy Suburban was involved in the disappearance and are asking residents to report any sighting of his vehicle on the day Audrey was reported missing. McDougall was eventually arrested on February 16th, the day after Audrey went missing, but on an unrelated charge of aggravated assault. That same day, authorities discovered more clues. A small backpack that likely belonged to a child was located near the Lake Livingston Dam, which is about a five-mile drive from where Audrey was last seen. But then less than a week after Audrey's disappearance, the case took a devastating turn. But at this time, I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. My heart aches with this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. The Sheriff's Office, we will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey. Audrey's body was discovered not too far from where authorities found her backpack. What was at first a missing persons case has now turned into a murder investigation. During a press conference on Tuesday after Audrey's body was discovered, prosecutors announced they plan to file charges that could put McDougal in prison for the rest of his life. Based on all of the evidence that law enforcement has collected, they are in the process of preparing the appropriate arrest warrants for Don Stephen McDougal. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. The substantial law enforcement resources that were marshaled by the Sheriff Lyons I think should show you that this county and law enforcement, they will come out when they need to, to protect our children. And the assets that we have been made available to Polk County to protect our children have been substantial. And at this point, as Sheriff Lyons said, he'll continue to collect the evidence and process that. The district attorney's office is going to stand right beside them and follow through and we promise that you can assure that the district attorney's office will be just as dedicated to this case as every one of these law enforcement officers that are standing behind you to do what is right for Audrey and bring justice to our community. In Texas, a capital murder charge could carry the punishment of the death penalty. But prosecutors say they haven't made that decision just yet. Until we get all of the evidence and all the autopsy reports, we're going to have to hold and work with law enforcement to determine what is the best solution to this case. Sheriff Byron Lyons said McDougal admitted to leaving the house with Audrey on the morning she vanished. He didn't elaborate further and never confessed to what happened to Audrey, leaving officials to turn to evidence that Lyons says points right to McDougal. We was collecting through the cell phone, through the cell phone analysis, as well as through our, as well as through our videos that we were able to collect and and exactly and, and some of the information that we received from him we were able to pinpoint and and said there were several points of interest um, that was turned over to us so that we were able to develop and thank goodness and thank by the grace of God one of those places of interest we were able to locate um, and right now folks when it start we start talking about how we linking evidence to McDougal and linking evidence to 
um, this case. We want to be very careful on how we do that. Um, I, w I will feel safe this, to say this, is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered, and some of that evidence was even gathered by the, the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media who sent us videos, who sent us uh, pictures. Some of that, even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations, as well as the evidence from cell phones and where, as, as videos to uh, pinpoint these locations. And here's what else we know about Don Stephen McDougall. Officials previously said McDougall was friends with Audrey's father. In addition to living on Audrey's family's property, he sometimes would take Audrey to the bus stop. McDougal has an extensive criminal past, including DUI, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and in 2007, he pleaded no contest to enticement of a child and was sentenced to just two years in prison. McDougal was given credit for more than 500 days of time served, and he wasn't required to register as a sex offender. Enticement of a child or child-centric crimes, um, those tend to be people that, that re-offend almost always. Um, it's not something that they grow out of, and it's not something that they stop doing. And when they re-offend, they tend to escalate that behavior, if you will. So you would go from enticement of a child to attempting to assault a child, right? And so I think that's more the type of crime is what we would build the profile off of um, versus, you know, a violent felonious assault. I mean, yes, that's bad, of course. But typically with child-centric crimes, they don't stop offending. Tracy Walder is a former FBI and CIA agent. I spoke with her prior to Audrey's body being discovered. She explained that McDougal should have been put on a sex offender registry. So um, I personally feel that Audrey was failed by kind of two elements here. It's my understanding that the school actually didn't even report to the parents that she hadn't shown up for school that day. And that gave whomever took her what a seven hour head start on them. They, they weren't told until she didn't come home from school. So I find that's one piece that we sort of need to look at. The next piece in regards to McDougal is that his enticement of a child sentence, he was not placed on any kind of, of registered sex offender list. So even if the parents had done a background check on him per se, just a kind of light one, they would have seen that he would have been, you know, in prison for assault, those kinds of things. Now, is that someone I personally would leave my child with? No, but again, I'm not here to shame parents in the decisions that they make. And this could have been someone that they knew for a long time um, and that was very trusted by the family. And so I do think in terms of the criminal justice system, not putting him on a registered sex offender list, um, that failed her, in my opinion, as well. The Livingston School District, where the young fifth grader went to school, took to social media as they grieved the loss of one of their own. They wrote in part, quote, while the details of this tragedy are still unfolding, our heart goes out to the entire community during this heartbreaking loss. Please keep Audrey's family, teachers, friends, and community in your thoughts and prayers as they grieve this tragic loss. The 11-year-old's death has left an entire Texas community heartbroken and a family devastated. Right now, it's unclear how Audrey died. Officials say they have transported her body to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office to determine her cause of death. Meanwhile, McDougal remains behind bars, and at this time, he's being held at a half a million dollar bond. Reporting for Law and Crime, I'm Elizabeth Milner.